Yeah, hi. When we're talking about anthropology, we are talking about the study of man. But basically, in my discussion, I'm talking about the study of man in sin. What is it that happened after the fall? And we have established the fact that human beings, as a result of disobedience in, in Genesis chapter 3, there's a separation that is established between God and man. And human beings... In and of themselves, their will is disabled. They, they, they do not love the things of God. They do not, you know, naturally incline towards God. The will has been affected. But what is the biblical evidence? And in here, I am talking about the evidence to show that human beings are indeed um, fallen in the Garden of Eden. Uh, and, and, and it has ramifications. But of course... Uh, there are many passages in scripture that show that human beings are dead, separated from God, uh, as it were. The first one is obviously Genesis chapter 3. That's, where, that's the foundation of it all. Adam and Eve are put in a garden. It's a test, perhaps, uh, to see if they would obey God. But Eve is deceived by the serpent and gives her husband to eat that very tree that God had warned them to eat. And he gave the the, the 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 implications of disobedience and one of the, the the question in Genesis two seventeen and there about two fifteen he says the day that you eat you shall surely die so human beings the moment they eat the Bible records their eyes were opened and they realized they were naked and so they begin to do things to hide their nakedness now what happened at that point the the innocence that they had was lost. The image of God was murdered. It wasn't removed? No. It was still there, but it was murdered with sin. And therefore, uh, at that point, hostility and separation um, ensued and took place. So Genesis 3 tells us that there is a fall. Then there is um, Genesis 6, 5. We begin to see the consequences how that the inclination of the heart and the mind were evil all the time, separated from from God. And then in Genesis chapter 8, this Psalm 51, verse 4, David proves that uh, in, in sin did my mother conceive me. In other words, I was born a sinner. Uh, but of course, uh, we read in Ecclesiastes, we read in Ephesians 2, verse 1, as for you, you were dead in sin. And so many other passages uh, Paul proves that in Romans 1, that human beings are dead in sin and separated from God. So, human beings are not pleasing to God anymore on account of the fall.